As an Afghan woman, everything about Rubina Jalali is unconventional. Ambitious, young and bristling with confidence, the 25-year-old is running for parliament. Two years ago, she was in a different race, running for Afghanistan in the Beijing Olympics. She finished last then. Tomorrow, Jalali hopes for a different result. I represent youth and I represent women, she says, and both need a voice in parliament. But constituents here are just as likely to kill candidates as they are to vote for them. Look at this. This is my car. She was in the front seat campaigning when insurgents smashed in the windows. Jalali is not alone. The Taliban have threatened anyone involved in the elections. Its campaign of terror has left three candidates dead. But 2,500 people are defying the danger and running for 249 seats. Candidate Haroon Mir warns that this could be Afghanistan's last election before the Taliban regain power, a threat he compares to a spreading tumor. So Taliban is a cancer in Afghanistan. Exactly, and it's growing fast. Since last year, Taliban have been able to expand their ter territory in the north and now even in suburbs of Kabul. Despite the threats, Jalali remains hopeful, campaigning until the end in the belief that the time for a new Afghanistan is now. Mandy Clark, CBS News, Kabul.